Hello everyone, welcome to a brand new episode of Game On, brought to you by Homer 9 and Sons. I'm Andrew Chiapese. Today we're at West Allegheny, where the Indians are 5-0 and preparing for a huge Allegheny 9 conference showdown against Upper St. Clair on Friday. Joining me today is junior tight end and defensive end Matteo Vandamia. Matteo, welcome to the show. Thank you. Um, you were a young guy last year, a sophomore starting with a bunch of seniors, and now suddenly you're one of the few experienced starters. What's that? process been like in sort of stepping into a leadership role? Um, I mean last year I was kind of feeling everything out as a starter and everything and this year it's kind of like I got to take control a little bit. We have a lot of inexperienced starters this year so uh, the whole leading aspect comes along with that. In the same process you're you're learning a new position and playing defensive end. What have you tried to learn and uh, how have you adapted to being a starter on the defensive side of the ball this year? Last last year, I for sure got a lot of break time <laughs> <laughs> defensively, but uh, this year it's 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 just taking charge and and being able to play both sides of the ball and stay on the field and not and like if I need a break, yeah, I'll come off, but that's really it. I mean. No position changes or anything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you guys are always well conditioned, so I'm sure yeah, yeah. that helps. Um, what did you try and work on as, as a tight end? Because you really came onto the scene last year. Uh, we're a very reliable receiver uh, for Nick Ross. Uh, so what did you try and work on as a tight end and, and to be a weapon for Cam Cruz and Jamie Divin and even Will Weber? I think a big thing that I needed to work on was blocking. Mm. I focused on receiving a lot more last year because we were a lot more able to do that this year. We're running a little bit more wildcat, so blocking's a bigger part this year. But receiving-wise, I mean, I've just kind of been doing the same old stuff as I've been. Uh, you guys won the Whippeal Championship last year and have started 5-0 and this year, despite all the guys that have graduated. And um, What do you think has been the key to the team's success so far this year to be able to handle all of that adversity and uh, all those changes? Um, we do. We do have a target on our backs I think the biggest the biggest thing we need to focus on is preparing Monday through Thursday like we just need to go at it every day at practice and obviously it's next man up we're missing a few starters so we're not going to use that as an excuse for whatever game so next man up we don't miss a beat we're just gonna keep rolling. Um, what about Upper St. Clair? What, are, what do they bring to the table? Have you guys had a chance to take a look at them a whole lot and, and see uh, what kind of challenges they're going to bring to you guys on Friday? Um, they're real similar to us. I feel like they're they're tough. They're physical. They obviously want to want to beat us just but just like any team. But we just have to master physicality and come into the game ready to go and prepare. All right, Matteo Vandamia and the West Allegheny Indians playing Upper St. Clair on Friday here at West Allegheny. Matteo, thank you for joining us. You can catch that game and more and coverage on timesonline.com and follow us on social media. For timesonline.com, I'm Andrew Chiapese. We'll see you soon.